Hey, what up guys? This is Ryan with PC Battle Stations and today I'm going to show you how I hooked up my nine Corsair LL120 fans in my Lee & Lee O11 Dynamic case using the Corsair Commander Pro. So you have your nine fans here. In each box contains three fans. In every box you also get an LED hub and you get a Lighting Node Pro. To hook up all nine of these with using the Commander Pro, you're only going to need two of these LED hubs and only one Lighting Node Pro, so you can just go ahead and store the other ones away in the box. And this Commander Pro is going to tie everything together. It's going to allow you to independently control up to six PWM and DC case fans and all nine of the LED lights on the fans. So I put one LED hub on the top here. That will control the three on the top and then I have an LED hub on the bottom that will control the three on the side and the three on the bottom here. And then what you do is you find your available SATA power and then this cable, the RGB LED cable will plug into your Lighting Note Pro. So we got one LED hub that connects to the Lighting Note Pro and then the other LED hub connects to your Lighting Note Pro. And then from your Lighting Note Pro, you're gonna go and connect to the Corsair Commander Pro. And that's gonna be your USB header here. And then six fans on the side and the bottom. The four pin fan connector are connected to the Corsair Commander Pro to control the fan. And then the top three are being controlled by my AIO. Our AIO cable here. And then this guy, you can also plug in some LED strips. And what I had is the backplate from V1 Tech LED backplate. And that is plugged into this LED number one here on the Corsair Commander Pro here. And then your Commander Pro cable, you're gonna go ahead and plug it into your motherboard USB 2.0 header. So I'm not gonna go in detail about how to use the Corsair IQ software. I assume that you already know or can figure it out. This is pretty much just on topic with how do you configure nine fans and then also what it looks like in the IQ software. So uh, here you got your profiles that you can just switch the profile and change the colors all together. Everything that you have set up. And then when you go into the Lighting Node Pros, you have to set two of them up. And then uh, the one that we had was three on the top and then the second one had the six, and that will look like that. And then I had my GPU backplate, and I set that up here, where I can also change the color of that too. Well, hopefully I was able to help at least one person out there. If you haven't seen it yet, take a look at my latest setup video, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.